Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have brought for you an amazing project by an amazing developer, the Wolvesville API. This is a project made possible by Main Low. You can find him in the link in the description. Before we begin, you might be asking yourself what an API is. Or what you can do with this project. Well here is a Discord bot I created recently by using the Wolvesville API. Members can type this command followed by the name of a player. The bot immediately searches up the user, gets their details like their name, level, playtime, their avatar and even when they were last online. Not only that, but if you enter this command followed by a name, it will show you that user's clan information. Isn't that cool? Note that this tutorial is beginner friendly. You do not need coding experience to understand what I'm doing, but it is highly recommended you know JavaScript if you want to do advanced things with this project. With that much said, let us start the video. First, you will be required to install two application. Node and Visual Studio Code. Both website links are provided below. Once you download them, open them and install them to your PC, make sure to tick all these options when installing Visual Studio Code. Once you are done installing, make a new folder and name it Wolvesville API. Open Visual Studio Code. Click on View then Terminal to open the terminal, you can also use this shortcut to open the terminal. Now paste the line you copied here and click Enter. Once the installation is over, create a new file and name it index.js. Go back to the documentation and you will find an example provided, this will be able to log the username and level of player named Arna UO. Copy it and paste it in Visual Studio. Then change this to your account email and account password. Now go to terminal and type node then the name of the file, in our case index.js. As you can see, we got the player's name and their level without opening the game. How did this happen? Well we first requested to fetch a user by providing the user's name. Then we logged the player's username, and the player's level to the console. The Wolvesville API fetched for us all these details without us opening the game. Isn't that amazing? Now let us see another example. We first need to change the name so the API can fetch another player. Now if we run this command, we will get the user's name and their level. Now that you know the basics, we will go deep and learn more of this API. I will be covering the basics in this video, but if you want to learn more, visit the URL provided in the description to read the full documentation of this API. If you know how to code, I would highly recommend you to go through the documentation provided but if you are a beginner then all you need is this 5 simple steps. To get started, all you have to do is put all your codes inside this parenthesis. As you have seen from our previous example, you first write client, then followed by one of the following, for instance we use the players. Then we used fetch by username. We then stored this whole code into one word, variable player. Finally, we use the username and play time properties to get the player's name and how long they played Wolvesville. Now if you run this code on your terminal, you will get the player's name and the player's playtime. Let us add one more property. Let's check if the player is online, you can use any of these properties in here. Now let us check another example. Let us see how to fetch a player's clan. To do this, we type client, followed clans, followed by one of the following. I will use fetch own to get the clan M in. Now we type clans, then one of the following properties. Name property returns the name of my clan. Now let us get the co-leaders of the clan. As you can see it shows us all the information of the co-leaders in my clan. Now let us see how you can fetch your own profile. For this, we use the fetch player method. First type client, followed by fetch player. Then store this in my profile variable. Finally, we can call any of these methods to fetch something from our profile. For instance let us fetch my clan. As you can see, it shows every member in my clan, amount of gold and gem in my clan and so many other information. You can use this same method to fetch your friends and see their information. Or fetch game items, including the daily offers, 
how many gems they cost and so on. You can also fetch the leaderboards to get daily, weekly, monthly or lifetime ranks. We will stop here for today so as to not make this video too long, if you are interested in this project, then you should read the documentation to understand more. If you get stuck, you can use this diagram to remember where you got lost. You can also join this discord and head to the help channel to receive help from an expert. I can't wait to see the projects you guys make with this API. Till we meet again. Peace. Thank you.